We know you do. Do you have a deal? Do we have a deal? How'd it go, sir? We had a uh, really good meeting, and to answer your direct question, we have a deal. And uh, I think it's really important. We've all agreed that uh, none of us got what we, all that we wanted. I clearly didn't get all I wanted. They gave more than I think maybe they were inclined to give in the first place. But this reminds me of the days we used to get an awful lot done up in the United States Congress. We actually worked with them. We had bipartisan deals. Bipartisan deals mean to compromise. One of the things that I've, I've made clear, I've signed on, and I'm going to let them give you the detail because, and you can ask them, and I'm, I will, I will talk to you all later, next hour or two. But I promise you, I'm not going away. Um, but uh, one of the things that uh, we agreed on infrastructure, we made serious compromises on both ends. Uh, there is, uh, and they'll, they'll give you the numbers. But we did not, they did not, and I understand their position, Republicans and this group did not want to go along with any of my family plan issues, the child care tax credits, the human infrastructure that I talk about. And uh, that we'll see what happens in a reconciliation bill in the budget process. If that, uh, if we you get some compromise there, and if we can't, See if I can attract all the Democrats to a position that is there. But we're going to—they're going to move in a dual track, and uh, and that's all I'll say. But I, I want to thank each and every one of them. It's been—you know—a lot of us go back a long way, where we're used to doing one thing: give each other our word, and that's the end. Nobody questions it. They have my word. I'll stick with what they propose, and they've given me their word as well. So where I come from, that's good enough for me. So I'm going to turn it over the two chairs here, and uh, I'll talk to you all a little bit later. Have you